God bless, God bless, God bless you guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I I, I am happy. I am stupendous. Um, I, I am very, very happy. A little cold, but I'm happy. Um, I am here at my mother's house, um, in my mother's bedroom, recording this, which was my office for quite a, um, a bit. My living space, I, I lived here for a while. Um, and I'm here because I'm here to move the rest of my belongings um, into, um, you know, my new place with my wife, you know. So um, I recently got married a week ago <laughs> and marriage has been wonderful. Our marriage has been stupendous. I, 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 I thank God, you know, for the opportunity to go ahead and get married. Um, I, and I can't stop smiling, you know, I, I just can't. Um, one of the things that um made this possible was um was the lord in all this god opened the doors made all this possible but before we get into all that i wanted to go ahead and discuss um a topic that has been on people's minds um and which is whether or not one should remarry um it's a very touchy topic. Um, I'm not going to go into depths, but I'm going to go ahead and use myself as a point of reference and go ahead and explain myself, um, you know, so that way you guys have a, a little bit of an understanding. I have been married before. I married at a very young age. We went to a courthouse. We were young and I can say naive at the time. We didn't understand how how much work it goes into marriage and we weren't serving the Lord we weren't very serious um, in our commitment with, with God so um, unfortunately um, you know we stopped going to church we stopped when you stop going to church you stop serving the Lord things things go bad so that commitment with to God was completely gone. Even though we didn't get married at, at a church, you know, it was gone. We got married at a courthouse. Eventually, that led to divorce. Um, we got divorced. A lot of issues happened before we got the divorce, but you know, it led to divorce, and it was it was it was difficult. I'm not gonna say it was tough, but it was difficult. I never thought I would get divorced, and that was a trying time in my life. Um, long ago almost almost 20 years ago that that happened but um you know i also had a kid out of wedlock after the divorce you know adrian was born and you know a lot happened a lot happened since then um this is princess i guess she wanted to go ahead and be part of the, the channel anyway so a lot happened um, you know, I love you, Adriana, and, you know, um, you know, like I said, a lot happened. I'm not going to go into the discussing the details of what happened, you know, but a lot did happen, and, you know, it's, it's sad, you know, but, again, this is what happens when you are away from the will of God, when you're not serving God, when you're not taking your life serious or your commitment to God very serious, and I didn't take it, you know, I completely abandoned my commitment to God. To the point where I actually went a whole different way. I started drinking. Um, I got into alcohol addiction. Um, I would drink every single day, you know, for whatever reason. I would find a reason to go ahead and drink and celebrate. I was a loner. I wound up being, you know, um, um, single. I wound up being homeless. I wound up, you know, so many things happened, you know, with with and concerning that alcohol addiction that that. that you know, it was not pretty. It was not pretty. But, um, you know, here we are, 2020, and I met a young lady that we share a lot in common. We have an inner circle that's in common. Um, I, you know, committed myself or re made a recommitment to God to serve him, accept him as my savior. And every day he gave me strength 
from we're talking about 2017 he gave me strength every single day to go ahead and fight alcohol addiction he gave me strength every single day and reminded me that in my weakness his grace is sufficient you know i i learned not to rely on what i can do but rely on what he can do for me and he did a lot he did a lot um, more than I could ever ask and more than I, more than I could deserve. And, you know, it, it chokes me up because I wouldn't be here doing this video if it wasn't for the grace of God. If it wasn't for God opening the doors, if it wasn't for God reaching out for me, continually pursuing me. If it wasn't for my mom, my sister, my friends and family continue praying over my life the church praying for me, I wouldn't be alive. I would be dead. I would not be breathing. I would be dead. So I have to take this moment to go ahead and thank everyone for praying for me. This marriage, this moment, this joyous moment for me is because you guys continually prayed for me, continually Ask God to watch over me and guide me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, to continue going forward, um, not to continue go ahead keeping you guys choked up, but you know, you know, my relationship with the Lord became very strong and twenty twenty came and me and Sumaya um, you know, started to get to really know each other and started asking a bunch of questions and you know a fire we can a fire was was burning you know inside bible teaches us that the heart is very deceitful not to trust the heart and i questioned whether or not i should you know even be pursuing a relationship with um, sumaya because you know the bible is very strict about you know marriage about the covenant you know this covenant before god it's very strict about it so you know um i i questioned whether or not i should and i even went as far as not just reading the bible the bible is the source of, of all inspiration the source of all information that you need but i even went as far as reading other books that, that helped me explain and understand you know the, what the bible is it means one of the books that i did read was marriage divorce and remarriage that book helped me understand a lot of things and put things in a lot of perspective. But I didn't just stick to this book. I also read a whole bunch of other books and, you know, did a whole bunch of other things. I prayed and I read the Bible and for a period of time, that's what I was doing. And then eventually the Holy Spirit reminded me, you know, to seek the counsel of others. And, you know, I was reading that, that verse and over and over in my mind and, I realized that I have to go ahead and talk to my pastors. And at the time I talked to my pastors, um, Edwin, uh, Ifarin Hassaj, um, and, and his wife, Judy Hassaj, and they gave me sound advice according to what the Bible says, um, and gave me their blessing and, and told me, you know, we, we're, we're praying for you. We are praying for you. They were happy for me. They're praying for me. And, you know, then, that's what you do when you're uncertain when you're not sure about something you're supposed to go to your pastor you're supposed to very first person you go to is the lord you put yourself in his presence and ask god to help you and you seek the counsel of others and particularly you seek the counsel of your leaders and in this case i seek sought the counsel of my leaders my pastors and then i presented myself to her pastor and i gave i asked him for advice he gave me you know without knowing the same advice that my pastors gave me he gave me the same advice now my pastor and and her pastor don't you know they don't it's not like they pick up the phone and talk to each other you know but they're both pastors they're both leaders and now her pastor is my pastor and the reason for that being is because i moved to new jersey but um you know i've seen time and time you know through this whole entire process from from you know, the beginning up to this moment, how God has opened the door and every single opportunity opened the way for us to go ahead and get married, made it possible for us to go ahead and get married, you know, in a timely manner. You know, um, 
there's so much that I can go ahead and cover, but I don't want to go ahead and bore you guys. I will say this, that um, I trust the Lord with my life, you know, and when I'm not certain about something, of course, with prayer and reading the Bible, the number one thing that I, I always do is go seek the counsel of my um, leaders, in that's, that case, my pastors. I seek the counsel of my pastors. Yes, I discuss things with my family. I discuss things with my brothers and my sisters. But when I need to make a decision, very, very big decision, I seek the, the counsel of my pastor. And, and, and whether I like the advice he gives me or not, you know, I, I go with it. You know, as long as it's sound doctrine, as long as it's, it's sound and, 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 and it, it, it's explainable. You know, it makes sense. It's explainable. Um, you know, I I feel wonderful, you know, being married to you, Sumaya. I feel wonderful being, you know, being your husband. And, you know, I thank God that you, you know, allow me to be the man of the house. <laughs> um, it's been a while since um, I've had that title. And I just hope to continue um, doing justice. And I hope that the Lord continues guiding me and helping me throughout that whole entire process, you know. Um, I don't want to go ahead and continue boring you guys. I have packing to do. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update and say God bless you guys. Thank you guys for everything. Keep me in prayer. Keep my wife in prayer. Keep us um, in, in your prayers. If you want to go ahead and help support this channel and help us out, um, you can go to my website, www.artbyrichie.com. You could also like this video and subscribe to this channel. It would help out a lot. Um, there are lots of plans that are coming up. Um, um, they will be popping up very shortly. But head over to my shop, www.artbyrichie.com, where you can learn more about me and about my struggle with alcohol addiction and how God saved me from it. You can learn more about um, art, you know, just about my life. God bless you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And, you know, I love you guys. God bless.